honestly, I don't know why you would be too excited considering you don't necessarily belong with us because all you really do is hold a camera, but we have other people for that, okay? But I'm not allowed you, to like wrestling because I record wrestling because I don't yeah. wrestle. Yeah, yeah. I'm not allowed. You act like you're one of us. You act like you do what we do. You could never. Your never. body couldn't handle it. Agreed. Agreed. 110% agreed, Lane Callie, and you are a talented athlete. But you're a prick that needs humbled, and I cannot wait until the right person gets their hands on you. It's not going to be me. I ain't shit. You're exactly right, Lane Kelly. I ain't shit. But I can, I pray that I shoot the match, and I'm recording when your ass gets humbled. There's no reason I need to even be on here. You're lucky. Why are you such a shitty person? Say. Why are you such a person? How What's am your I a shitty person? What's your problem with me? What My problem with you? Okay, I'm glad you asked. Since day one, man, we're in the same locker rooms, we're in the same venues, even if I don't belong, and since day one, whether it's a good guy or a bad guy, everybody's treated me with respect, except for this one punk kid that can't even shake my f hand, that gives me looks to talk shit when I'm recording his matches. What the f did I do is what I'm asking you. What did you do? What did you do? You just bother me, because you're always lurking around. You're always looking stupid in every locker room. You're smiling, being nice to everyone. This is a this is a business about fighting. What are you doing? Shaking hands, hugging babies, kissing fat girls. What are you doing? No, this is my hometown. You come down here with this crap, lady. I'm just here telling the people how spooky Lou really is. You portray this guy wanting to show off West Virginia independent wrestling. And that's real nice of you, yet unfortunately you're putting yourself in the spotlight. I came to Bluefield. I want to apologize. So let me make it crystal clear for you. I've been on the internet all week and I've seen Wayne Cowley and Spooky Lou going at odds with each other. There's no love loss here. Oh, and the disrespect is a low blow. Oh, DD Vice just left their table. Who's running in there? He's got a chair. What is this? DD Vice with a chair coming in. Come on!
spell. I was supposed to be something in RSW, and you have made me nothing! You have friends. I have friends too. Marcus Twist comes back, RSW, seven year anniversary to do what? I guess I must have owed Lou in my mind. I no longer think that I owe Lou. Lou liked to pick sides. Lou's story still, uh, I think, far from the truth. Look at this. Big T-Boat suplex now. I love it. I've been trying to get through to you guys forever. Why don't you answer my messages? Is it really that bad? Did I do what I did? Is it really that bad? Yeah. I got dropped in two weeks. In August and two weeks, guys. We have to figure out who this is. I don't care who it is, Lou. I don't care about Lane Cowley right now. He's still a dipshit online. Alright, still a dipshit in person. You want us to do the podcast? You want to talk to us? Fine. We will do the podcast. I'm not a bad guy, DD. We I'm tired of being hold on. like a bad guy. Hold on. We will do the podcast if you stay away from the f***ing ring in October. I'm not staying away. It's my home stay away, away from, from our match ring for our match. For y'all's match. Fair. I tell you what. I tell you what, Lee. Tell me who it is. I'll, this is what I'll do for you. Tell me who it is. You got you and your mystery man, former RSW champion, whoever it is. You guys happen to be SNS, which we know you won't, but if you happen to, I'll leave. I'll, I'll take what little pride that I have left, and I'll leave the business that I love, Lane. How about that? Uh, just, but you have to tell me who it is. You help. I need a lot of help. You help help from from a current RSW champion. I need help. I need help from a guy who's always had my back. Lady boy. I need help. I've been, I've been getting bullied. I think, I think you're just a guy I need. You're getting bullied too. You're getting bullied in my boy Lane. These guys, them, them Saturday Night Special and, and Goofy Lou. Those weasel big bastards. I've been dealing with Rusty Wrestling for years, man. Never once been pinned for a championship. This is my second one. You know, they stole the first one from me, and they stripped it from me. I gave it back to them reluctantly. This time they tried it again, because I've been gone a year and a half. Guess what? Ain't happening. Slapped in the face, and again, I don't know how, how much 
more I can bite my tongue, how much more I can kiss ass to try to make things right again. That's all I want, man. Whenever all this shit went down, I didn't bash you on social media. I didn't talk shit. All I did was miss my fucking friend. But this has been going on for a minute. This kid is under my skin. I've been the first to say he's fucked up my head all year. And again, I'm fucking sorry. Uh, this is this is the green horn shit that I was fucking saying. It's, it's two two fucking guys just coming at each other over and over again that don't know when to quit, and they're dragging a bunch of other motherfuckers into their business. But I'm gonna go into Monaga. Dee Dee's gonna go into Monaga. Those guys are gonna come into Monaga. Lou's gonna leave Monaga, and then we're gonna fuck them up, and then we're leaving. We're leaving. I'm going. I'm going to the bar. I'm gonna celebrate. Whooping the fuck sock puppet. Fuck And I'm done. I'm done with this. Done with this entire situation. I don't want no more parts of this. I don't want to have conversations about this shit. I don't want to talk about what happened about a year ago. I don't want to help. I don't want to talk about what happened two weeks ago. I just want to I just, hey, from the time I came back until now, I want to forget about it. Second we're done, Saturday, it's done. It's done. It's gone. Done. I don't get it. Done. Well, Completely done. Done with this shit. Done with talking about it. After Saturday, I'm done with all of it. I'm going to go on. We're, uh, maybe maybe we'll go get the pack titles off Rucker. Maybe yeah, we'll go do that. Maybe we'll go do that. I don't give a fuck I do. I'm for this. I'm over being a fucking pawn for Spooky Lou's goofy-ass fucking channel and the views and the fucking the bullshit. I'm just fucking over it, dude. I don't give a fuck about none of this. No more. I'm done. I really don't know who you are anymore. I really don't. I got what I wanted. You have to stand outside and watch us beat Lane Callie's ass through the window. Because we've both beaten Lane Callie's ass. That makes me feel singles. like y'all can't trust me. <laughs> You've I told you to trust the process the whole time and you literally we were this close to beating Lane Callie again. Because you couldn't trust the process. Trust the process of week in, a week out. You guys treat me like a piece of shit. I'm getting roped back into shit because I was trying to help a friend. And now I'm stuck in the middle of some bull. So I'm going to go into Monongah next this Saturday. And show you and show the world that Saturday night special have been doing this shit for four years. Saturday night special draw people. We put asses in seats. We beat asses. We get paid. We leave. And that's exactly what we're doing in Monongah. I apologize for you having to stand outside, but that's what has to be done. <laughs>